the beauty of films is that each person sees a different one. To every film, we bring our own experiences and expectations. So, of course, year-end lists are made specifically for arguing. These are my top five for 2018. Since it's a conflict of interest, I'm staying away from Sanju and I didn't see Simba in time to consider it. First, a special mention of Shujit Sarkar's October, Anurag Kashyap's Manmarziya, Anubhav Sinha's Mulk and Last Stories, the four-film Omnibus, which ended up on Netflix but was originally made for theatres. I enjoyed these films very much. And now, here's my countdown. At number 5, Razi, directed by Meghna Gulzar. Razi is a spy film like no other. I want you to be a part of the eyes of the eyes of the eyes of Pakistan. Firstly, it features a female spy, which is pretty rare, especially for Hindi cinema. And then it movingly portrays the price she pays for her success. With restraint and sensitivity, Meghna gives us the story of Sehmat, who sacrifices everything for her country. Alia Bhatt is both determined and achingly vulnerable as a girl doing things she had never dreamed of doing, including murder. And what's even more admirable is that the Pakistanis aren't depicted as villains, they're simply doing their job like Sehmat is doing hers. At number 4, Tumbad, directed by Rahi Anil Barve and Adesh Prasad. Tumbad is mysterious and magical and visually glorious. The narrative that spans decades is a horror film but also a morality tale that warns against greed which destroys generations of a family. <laughs> The film is powered by a unique vision and a strong performance by Soham Shah. This is a really unusual Hindi film that I feel just didn't get seen enough. I recommend that you seek it out on Amazon Prime. It is a rewarding experience. At number 3, Stree directed by Amar Koshik. Stree is a genre movie turned on its head. We went in thinking it's a straight-up horror film about a churel in Chanderi, but we left pondering a larger message about women and our place in the world. Co-producers and scriptwriters Raj Nidimoru and Krishna DK created a smart and savvy story that was in equal parts funny and scary. And all the actors, Raj Kumar Rao, Pankaj Tripathi, Apar Shakti Khurana and Abhishek Banerjee are terrific. At number 2, Andadhun, directed by Sri Ram Raghavan. There is an over 10-minute sequence in Andadhun in which a blind pianist is present but not witness to a murder. As he plays the piano, the murderers dispose the dead body. There's no dialogue because they don't want him to hear anything, so they're dragging the body and miming instructions. It's the best crafted sequence I've seen in Hindi cinema this year. Thankfully, the rest of the film is equally sparkling. Ah! 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 Andadun is deliciously wicked and brilliantly enacted. Besides, who else except Sri Ram could combine Tabu, Ayushman, Khurana, Anil Dhawan? and a rabbit. And at number one, Badai Ho, directed by Amit Sharma. I'm a sucker for romance, and Badai Ho featured the love story of the year. That of a middle-aged couple who find themselves in a crisis because she gets pregnant. Nina Gupta and Gajraj Rao as Mr. and Mrs. Kaushik gave us a tender and touching love story. And Surekha Sikri as the fierce and frank mother-in-law was unforgettable. Badai Ho seamlessly combined humour with rich emotions. The film isn't visually flashy, but it spoke to the heart, which makes it my favourite film of the year. Which films did you enjoy this year? Do comment below and for more videos like this, subscribe to Film Companion.